Named after its creator, Gustav Eiffel, this famous tower has adorned the French capital of Paris for more than a century. It was built in 1886 in record time and can be seen from almost every square and tiny lane in Paris. The steel construction, which from far away looks like filigree, weighs around a hundred tons. Originally, the tower, which was a symbol of the country's industrial recovery, was only meant to grace the Parisian skies during the World Exhibition. The most modern technical safety precautions were employed, conveying visitors in several lifts to three platforms of the gigantic steel building, which is also accessible via 1700 steps. The eye is first drawn to the sturdy steel girders and weight-bearing transverse poles that are held in place by around 2.5 million rivets. In its time, it was an amazingly impressive technical achievement. In the airy heights of the first platform, there's a fine view over the rooftops of Paris. Only from this height can the full spectacle of the city be appreciated. The many tourist attractions in the historical metropolis emerge from the haze of traffic of this large city. The lift climbs higher and higher. Gustav Eiffel was famous for his bold technical designs. Against all the doubts of his contemporaries, the tower still stands, impervious to the threats of both wind and weather. Until the arrival of New York's Empire State Building, the Eiffel Tower, at a height of over 300 meters, was for many years the tallest building in the world. As the air becomes thinner, those who come here pause before taking in more of the indescribable views. First to catch the eye is the architectural jewel of the Trocadero Palace with its well laid out gardens. The colossal stone monument, the Arc de Triomphe, is a reminder of France's heroic past. Rising above all, as a shining light of Christian belief, 
The Sacré-Cœur church is dominant amid the city skyline. Somewhat relieved, the passengers submit to gravity that gently, gradually brings them closer to terra firma. As the rooftops of various buildings and green treetops emerge, the passengers are returned once again to their customary place on solid ground. Resting on 16 supports, and like a steel needle in the sky, this symbol of man's achievement projects upwards as though piercing the very heavens. Huge arches of iron bars and steel crossbeams support this construction that was built in record time and was at odds with the conventional rules of framework as well as numerous conservationists. Technical requirements of the weather station at the top of the tower raised its height by a few additional meters. The transmitter at the top of the tower seems to connect it to the entire world. It stands as a memorial to man's constant desire to explore the heavens. From the Eiffel Tower, a wonderful array of lights reaches out across Paris. Even today, this symbolic structure is a remarkable landmark and epitomizes the importance and spirit of this charming European city. One of the greatest qualities of man is his creative spirit. Like a star in the nocturnal firmament, this illuminated tower glows in the centre of Paris and above its inhabitants, who have always considered this noble monument to be the centre of the world.